New information emerging overnight in that tragedy in South Korea. The death toll rising with more than 153 people killed in a crush of Halloween revelers in a popular nightlife district in Seoul. President Biden saying he and the First Lady send their deepest condolences to the families who lost loved ones. And South Korea's president declared a period of national mourning for the victims. ABC's Lama Hassan starts our team coverage in London with the latest. Good morning, Lama. Yeah, good morning to you, Eva. This is truly just tragic and has now become one of South Korea's worst ever disasters. Most of those who lost their lives in the crush are young people in their teens and 20s, and at least one of the confirmed dead is an American. This morning, South Korea is in mourning as they carry out the heartbreaking task of counting the dead and trying to identify the victims. After disaster striking the heart of the capital Seoul when an evening of festivities turned deadly, more than 100,000 people gathered for Seoul's first major Halloween celebration since the pandemic, converging in a narrow sloped alleyway, quickly erupting in chaos. I just saw in front of me this mass of people like running and pushing and like moving fast and and screaming and and like panicking. With reports of some surging forward, causing a massive crush. Oh my God, oh my God. Killing at least 153 people and injuring more than 82 others, many of them in serious condition. More than 800 emergency services rushing to the scene. Medics and bystanders giving CPR to rows and rows of people lying in the middle of crowded streets. We didn't expect anything like this to happen. There was already too many people. We were just walking on the street and I was already getting pushed and swayed. I was trying to hold my friend um, that passed away close to me. Police quickly trying to clear the area, sending out text messages warning people to stay away. The South Korean president, Yoon suk yeol declaring a period of national mourning, saying this is truly tragic. A tragedy and disaster that should not have happened took place in the heart of Seoul last night. Well, ABC News has confirmed that American student Steve Blessy, who was on a study abroad program, was one of the victims. He'd only just arrived in South Korea two months ago, and his father telling us his boy had an incredible heart and they cannot imagine life without him. So many questions this morning about how a tragedy like this could have happened. Janae. Absolutely tragic. Lama, thank you. And continuing our team coverage now, let's go to ABC's Jokey Cho in Seoul, where that disaster unfolded. Jokey, good morning. Good morning. See how narrow this alley is where the stampede began, just 14 feet wide. Right now, all of the dead and injured have been transferred to 42 different hospitals, most of them in their Halloween costumes, and many teenagers not even old enough to have an ID. Tough for police working to identify them. Shops here all shut down. Mourners started to lay flowers over there. A joint morning altar to be set up by tomorrow down the street and at the city hall. All this going on right now with the body count still rising. Guys? All right, Juhi, thanks to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.